Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech AI Brain. Today, we're diving into the world of neural networks and how you can build a successful career in this exciting field. I'll be sharing six actionable tips inspired by the experiences of Shihab, the founder of the IT Samurai Teacher YouTube channel and a true expert in neural networks. These tips are designed to help you whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your skills. Let's get started. Tip 1. Stay updated with the latest research. The first tip is to stay updated with the latest research. Now, I know what you're thinking. Alpha, there's a new AI paper every 5 minutes. How do I keep up? Trust me, I get it. It's overwhelming, but here's a hack. You don't have to read every single paper from start to finish. Focus on the introduction and conclusion to get the gist. Platforms like Arxiv Sanity or Papers with Code summarize research for you so you can stay in the loop without drowning in equations. Shihab, for example, always emphasizes the importance of following the big players like OpenAI, DeepMind, and Google AI. They often share groundbreaking work on their blogs. And don't forget conferences like NeurIPS and ICML. They're like the Coachella of AI research. By staying updated, you'll always be ahead of the curve. But here's a pro tip. Don't just passively consume research. Try to implement what you learn. For instance, if you read about a new optimization technique, test it out on a small project. This hands-on approach will help you internalize the concepts and make them stick. Shahab once shared a story about how he implemented a new attention mechanism he read about in a paper. At first, it didn't work as expected. But by tweaking the implementation and experimenting, he not only got it to work, but also discovered a new way to optimize it for his specific use case. That's the power of staying curious and hands-on. Tip 2. Don't get married to one framework. The second tip is don't get married to one framework. When Shihab started his career, he was all about Thino and Lasani. He thought they were the best thing since sliced bread. But then TensorFlow came along, and he had to adapt. The truth is, the AI landscape is always evolving. Today, it's TensorFlow and PyTorch. Tomorrow, it might be Jox or something entirely new. The key is to stay flexible. Once you learn one framework, switching to another is like learning a new dialect teat, not a whole new language. Oh, and don't forget about hardware. GPUs, TPUs, and specialized chips are changing the game. Understanding the principles behind neural networks will help you adapt to any hardware or software. Shahab often says that being a tech polyglot fluent in multiple tools and frameworks is one of the most valuable skills you can have. For example, Shahab once worked at a startup that used a niche framework called Torch. At first, he was hesitant because he was comfortable with TensorFlow. But by being open to learning, he not only mastered Torch, but also contributed to improving the company's AI systems. Here's another example. Shihab recently started experimenting with Jox, a new framework gaining traction in the AI community. Even though he's been in the field for over a decade, he's still excited to learn and adapt. That's the mindset you need to thrive in this ever-changing field. Tip 3. Focus on solving real problems. The third tip is to focus on solving real problems. When Shahab was an intern, he wasn't building the next GPT. He was fixing bugs and writing production code. And you know what? That was some of the best learning he ever did. Debugging is a superpower in AI. Neural networks are like a black box. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Having a systematic way to debug and test your code is crucial. So, even if you're not working on the latest research, focus on delivering value and learning from the process. Here's a real-world example. Shihab once worked on a project where the model's accuracy suddenly dropped after a minor update. Instead of panicking, he systematically traced the issue back to a data pre-processing bug. By staying calm and methodical, he not only fixed the problem, but also improved the team's workflow. Another time, Shihab was tasked with optimizing a model's inference time. Instead of jumping to complex solutions, 
he started by profiling the code and identifying bottlenecks. By making small, incremental improvements, he was able to reduce the inference time by 40%. That's the power of focusing on real problems and being systematic in your approach. Tip 4. Specialize, but stay flexible. The fourth tip is to specialize, but stay flexible. Early in your career, try to master the fundamentals like linear algebra, calculus, and probability. Once you've got that down, pick a niche. For example, in computer vision, you could specialize in object detection or image segmentation. In NLP, you could focus on text, summarization, or speech recognition. But here's the thing, don't get too attached. If your job requires you to work outside your specialty, embrace it as a learning opportunity. When Shehab was an intern, he was working on NLP instead of his favorite area, computer vision. But he learned so much, and it actually helped him grow as an engineer. Being a sponge, not a brick wall, is key to long-term success. Here's another example. Shehab once worked on a robotics project, even though his expertise was in NLP. By collaborating with the robotics team and learning from them, he not only contributed to the project, but also expanded his skill set. That's the beauty of staying flexibly to open doors to new opportunities. Tip 5. Don't ignore the basics. The fifth tip is don't ignore the basics. Shahab has met people who can code a neural network in their sleep, but don't understand why we use ReLU or batch normalization. If you don't understand the fundamentals, you'll struggle to innovate. For example, knowing why L1 and L2 regularization work will help you tune your models better. So, always go back to the basics. They're the foundation of everything we do. Here's a practical example. Shehab once mentored a junior engineer who is struggling with overfitting in their model. Instead of jumping to advanced techniques, Shehab asked them to revisit the basics of regularization. By understanding L1 and L2 regularization, the engineer was able to solve the problem and even improve the model's performance. Another time, Shehab was debugging a model that wasn't converging. Instead of tweaking hyperparameters randomly, he went back to the basics of gradient descent and realized the learning rate was too high. By adjusting it, he was able to get the model to converge quickly. That's the power of mastering the fundamentals. Tip 6. Keep learning and stay curious. Finally, the sixth tip is to keep learning and stay curious. The field of AI is moving at lightning speed. Ten years ago, we didn't have transformers or large language models. Who knows what the next decade will bring? Shahab always says that curiosity is the fuel of innovation. So, stay curious. Experiment with new tools, explore new algorithms, and don't be afraid to fail. That's how we grow. For instance, Shihab recently started experimenting with Jocks, a new framework gaining traction in the AI community. Even though he's been in the field for over a decade, he's still excited to learn and adapt. That's the mindset you need to thrive in this ever-changing field. And there you have its six actionable tips to help you build a successful career in neural networks. Inspired by the experiences of Shahab, the IT Samurai teacher. Whether you're just starting out or looking to level up, these tips will help you stay ahead in this fast-paced field. Remember, the world of AI is constantly evolving. And the key to success is staying curious, adaptable, and always willing to learn. So, take these tips, apply them to your journey, and don't be afraid to experiment and make mistakes. That's how we grow. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's passionate about AI. And don't forget to subscribe to Tech AI Brain for more insights into the world of technology and innovation. Thanks for watching, and remember, the future belongs to those who learn. See you in the next episode.